welcome to a brand new podcast. It's called VAR Podcast. We do not talk about VAR in this podcast. How are you all doing? It's the natural here yet again with another video on the channel and it's another football impact we look across Europe across the world and find the most bizarre the most funny and the most cringe-worthy things that's happened in the week of football let's kick it off shall we with arguably the biggest transfer saga that never happened Neymar not going to Barcelona. That's right, Neymar, the biggest transfer saga arguably in the history of transfers. He is staying put at Paris Saint-Germain. Now, this man has been bitching and moaning about wanting to go to Barcelona, going home to where it all began for him, where he felt love, where he felt actually appreciated and actually felt like the fans loved him, the players loved him, the manager respects him at Barcelona. Well, to be perfectly honest with you, Neymar Jr., weren't you the guy, I know, a couple of years ago that wanted to leave Barcelona when they actually, if I'm not mistaken, won the godforsaken treble, the Champions League, La Liga, and the Copa de Rey? Were you the reason why that Nelson Semedo got abused by you before he even got into the fucking training ground for his first training session when Barca signed him. Weren't you the same guy that said that I wanted to not be in Messi's shadow. I want to be the best player in the world. That's why I'm going to Paris Saint-Germain. And let's not forget, Paris Saint-Germain, their main transfer goal way back a couple years ago was Saint Kylian Mbappe. That was their man. That's the man that they wanted to bring in and model them for the future. PSG did not want to sign Neymar. That was never, ever, ever going to happen because then they, they wanted Mbappe and that's why Mbappe had to be a loan signing with an obligation to buy which obviously that's now a permanent signing a couple of years ago but I come back to it PSG didn't want to sign Neymar Neymar came to Paris Saint-Germain Neymar I hope you rot in reserves I hope the fucking PSG fans boo you heckle you after what you've single-handedly have destroyed you have disrespected the Paris Saint-Germain players, the Paris Saint-Germain fans, everyone from PSG, you disrespect the league earned by balancing boots on your head and single-handedly taking the league as a farmer's league, a bunch of Sunday league teams. To be honest, no. Some of them teams in the league earned actually no disrespect them, actually have some good players and actually have very decent teams. You're just an all-star footballer. You're not an actual footballer. Just gonna put a good ball into the box. No you're not man, I'm gonna catch this ball. No you're not, you fumbled the ball. I'm gonna kill this off the line. Yeah right, I'm gonna rebound this and put this in the goal. I can't believe it. I love you so much, you saved us the game. We've got an amazing draw in this game. Thank you so much, I love you bro. Virgin Van Dijk won UEFA Best Player of the Year. Thoroughly deserved. What he has done for Liverpool since he's been signed for Liverpool is quite astonishing. I actually had to look up uh, a percentage, how far Liverpool's win percentage has gone up since Virgil van Dijk's been in the team. It's went up 75%. Clean sheets are up 88%. Everything's up. It's quite astonishing how one player just make a team so good. And yes, people might say, but Lionel Messi deserves to win it. He has scored 50 goals every season. Absolutely. And for me, Lionel Messi would have one of the greatest ever players to ever kick a ball. But this is the UEFA Best Player of the Year. It's not the UEFA Greatest Player of All Time. It's not the UEFA Best Player Ever. It's Player of the Year. And Van Dijk is the best player in 2019. There's no denying that. He single handedly took Liverpool to two Champions League finals, won one of them, won a UEFA Super Cup. And let's not forget, has made that Liverpool defence so good that they nearly won the league by one point. The best centre defender I have seen for a long, long time. I don't think this guy understood the technique the manager said. Bend it like Beckham, not bend it out of the car park. 
What has been the craziest transfer of the summer? People may say Kieran Trippier going to Atletico Madrid. Some people will say Varkel going to Gala 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 Tassarai. But I believe the craziest transfer of the summer has to be Scott Carson going to Man City. <laughs> I mean, how did that man somehow end up at Man City? Scott Carson must have been looking at his messages on WhatsApp and say, wait, why does this say I have a medical at Manchester City? What, is this some kind of weird wind up going on here? And that's why Scott Carson's transfer to Manchester City will probably go down as one of the craziest transfers of the summer of 2019, maybe of all time. And now we move on to the WTF moment of the week. Uh, as flies to wanton boys, we are for the gods. They kill us for the sport. Soon the science... Uh, Leo? Yeah? Do you have any idea what Eric is saying? After seeing what he watches on Instagram? I don't know, Cristiano. I have got absolutely no idea. What is this dude talking about? Is this supposed to collect the award and make a nice little speech? That's it. What's he on about? I'm still trying to figure out what was Eric Kantner actually trying to say. So everyone, that's the end of yet another video on the channel and the end of another Football Impact video as well. If you really enjoyed this, don't forget to get your head and headbutt that godforsaken like button. And one more thing, again a lot of people Tweet me saying natural, I'm not getting your video in the sub box. So can you also hit the notification bell because a lot of people are not seeing my videos for some reason. So I don't know if YouTube decided to change the fucking algorithm or something. So uh, please hit the notification bell as well um, because YouTube is a fucking mess in terms of not getting videos in sub box. So please hit the notification bell. Anyway. Hope you all have an amazing day, enjoy yourselves, please like, subscribe, the natural, the punk of YouTube is out.